G'day guys, Ian here, and today we are feeding all of our snakes, all the way from this little one, all the way through to our yearling and our adult carpet pythons. Now guys, if you are new to this channel and you haven't already done so, please do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, and welcome to Cookies Critters. Okay guys, so the most important thing we can do before we feed our snake is make sure that their tub or their enclosure is nice and clean. Now, the reason for this is after they've had a rodent, we wanna let them digest their food uninterrupted for the next 24 to 48 hours. Now, obviously with a big lump in their belly, they will feel a little bit threatened that they aren't as mobile, they can't get away from you as easily. So they can be a little bit more aggressive and a bit more defensive. So leave your snake be, Plus in the, uh, in the first couple of hours, the, uh, the risk of regurgitation is quite high. So guys, once you feed your snake, leave them be, don't handle them, don't interrupt them, just uh, let them enjoy and relax for the next uh, day or so. Okay, so ahead of time before this video, we've gone through, we've cleaned all our tubs, we've cleaned all our enclosures. Uh, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to prep the, uh, the rodents that we are gonna feed our snakes. So guys, ahead of time, we've gone through, we've counted all our snakes that are gonna be fed on this video, and we've got the frozen rodents out of the freezer uh, according to the size requirements of each snake. Now, there are two different ways that we like to defrost our rodents here at Cookies Critters. So with the magic of editing, we are gonna skip ahead to, uh, to these rats being defrosted. Okay, so here we go. The rodents are now nice and toasty warm, and we're gonna start feeding them off. So let's get into it. Hey guys, so we're going to start off with feeding a few of our hatchling growouts. Uh, we are feeding them pinky rats and uh, we'll see how we go. Thank you. 
Okay, so uh, the next ones we're going to do are the uh, the yearlings. So let's go. This one.
So guys, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how we, uh, how we feed our fussy male. Now, this guy here, he only likes the scent of mice, uh, so we trick him by tying a, uh, a rat behind a mouse. And that way, by the time he strikes and uh, constricts the mouse and starts to uh, eat the mouse, he has no choice but to eat the rat as well. Okay guys, so the battery on the camera went flat, but the uh, the male, the fussy feeder, he did eat his Franken rat. He's now happily sitting back in his tub and uh, got a nice big lump in his belly. We will move across to our quarantine area and we will feed the anatoresia that we do have uh, in that space. Uh, guys, stick around. Okay guys, so we're in the quarantine area and we've just got a few little uh, anatoresia in here that need to be fed. Uh, so let's get onto that. Got a little uh, T plus children eye. Uh, his pos head granite as well. It's always been a good feeder. Another little T plus children eye. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. Uh, guys, if you did, please let us know. Leave some feedback down in the comment section below. Guys, while you're at it, please do hit that like button if you haven't already done so. Please subscribe and turn on those post notifications. That way you're not going to miss a coming video. Guys, as always, if you've got them, keep your beard treated and your snakes heated.